Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of After Plus Lua modding tutorials. In today's video I'm going to show you how to add new cards and pills to the game. Essentially this mod was taken out of the workshop and it was made by someone at Nicholas, so it's supposed to be the proper and official way to do things. And I thought that this would serve as a much better example than making my own like I usually do, just because it showcases some things that I just never would have thought of and I think it's also more complete and because it's relatively simple I think it's a good learning tool. So with that said let's just get started. So the first thing we have to do is go in our main folder and find the content folder and in there you would put your pocket items.xml. And if you just open this up this is how it looks like. Essentially what we're telling the game is which new cards and pills we're adding via this xml. So you can see that we're adding two new cards, one of them is called sow them and one of them is called shrink them and I'll leave it up to you to figure out what is due. And the pill we're adding actually is name is badass and whenever we use it we gain 100 damage. So that's quite powerful. But besides the attributes description and name you can see that cards have an additional parameter attribute, however you want to call it, called HUD. And HUD corresponds to how that particular card will look like in the game. And this is actually dependent on the animation file, which can be found in the GFX. And then here you'll find the UI card fronts.anm2 file, which is of course the animation file and the appropriate sprite sheet to go along with it. In this case this means that you have to have your file name this way if you want it to be recognized by the game. So when you do have that, uh, you, we can open it in the animation editor and we can see how it actually looks like. In this case you can see that there's a bunch of animations on the right. In this case there's slow them, it also had shrink them and sparkle, but I decided to delete shrink them just to showcase that the sprite won't actually load if you don't have it in here. But in this case we can see that the animation slow them corresponds to the first card which has the name hot slow them and the second one hot shrink them doesn't exist so that means that this this card will be blank, but essentially the HUD name that you put in here should correspond to the name of the animations in this particular file. And of course the animations aren't actual animations, they're just sprites, they're just one frame and they just correspond to how this will actually look like in the game. And in this case if you want to make your own sprite sheets you want to change, I would recommend just using this as a template, so just changing the sprite sheets and just changing the animations. Um, or if you're making your own, I would recommend that you actually stick to the naming conventions, just keep everything the same, keep all of the layers the same on the same numbers, the same names, and also create the files with the same name, just to be extra sure, because you never know at which point it actually is required for those files or names to be the same. So now that we have actually created our animations and named them and put them in here and actually referenced them in the XML file, now that we've told the game what our cards are and how they look like, now we have to tell the, card, the game what they'll do. And in this case of course the slow them card slows everyone and the shrink them card shrinks anyone and the pill increases our damage by 100. And the first thing we do in our mod is actually register the mod and get all of the IDs. So in this case we say get card ID by name if you want to get a card ID and get pill effect by name if you want to get the pill ID. The, the next thing I would like to focus on are the callbacks just because I think they're a bit new and something I really haven't had a chance to talk before. And it, whenever we use a card we would use the callback called MCU's card and the pill of course MCU's pill. And essentially this callback is triggered whenever we use a card or whenever we use a pill. And in this case we were saying whenever we use a pill called the function called pill callback and the last parameter in all of these cases actually corresponds to just when that particular pill ID is used. Of course here what we do is get the pill effect ID by name and we save it in the variable called pill ID and here we're saying okay uh, whenever we use the pill this particular pill that we've created call this function called pill callback. And when that happens of course that function is going to be called and then we're going to do something. But in the case of the cards you can see that we have two cards and that they're basically calling the same callback function, the card callback function. So we have to do some additional checks there to see which one actually did call the function. In this case what we do when we actually tie both of these to the same function, we actually get the parameter card ID in our argument. So whenever we actually call the function with this particular card, so when we use this card in the game, this would actually equate to shrink ID and whenever we use this card in the game, the slow card, this would actually equate to slow ID, but only these two cards can call this particular function. So when we do that, what we do, of course, we go through every entity in the room, we use a for loop, and then we check if that entity is an enemy, and if it is an enemy, then we check which card we have. If we have the shrink card, which is shrink enemies, and if it's not a shrink card, it can only be a slow card because there's only two cards, we would add slowing to that enemy. Not just slowing, we could also change their color to something like cyan. If you don't know how this color works, basically the first three values are RGB, so red, green, blue, and depending on how much of each you have, 
uh, color will change appropriately. The minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 1. The fourth one is opacity, so how transparent it is. 1 means it will be fully opaque and 0 means it will be invisible. And the last three are basically RGB offsets, so if you want more red or more blue or more green, you would use this maybe for transitions or something like that. Essentially what you would put here is again numbers that correspond to RGB values. So now that we kind of covered the cards, essentially one function covers both of these cards' logics and essentially one of them just adds the shrink and the other one just adds the slowing. Now we have to cover the pill as well and the pill I mentioned before, it changes the damage of the player, so we also have to have a cache update function somewhere. And of course we have this last callback, which I didn't talk about before, and what this callback does is ties the MC value to cache callback. So whenever a cache update happens, which is whenever we pick up an item, or alternatively, we use this function called player add cache flags, cache flag damage. And essentially what we're saying, trigger this cache update or call this function whenever a cache update happens. And we trigger the cache update ourselves by basically putting this flag inside. And then we're saying only call this function whenever a cache damage update happens, so whenever we're trying to change damage. So in this case, of course, because we're only changing damage, this is going to trigger whenever we use our pill. So now that this happens, the first thing we do is get our player ID or our player reference, we save it in the player variable, and what we do is essentially attribute a new variable to it. And this is something that you can do in Lua and just a lot of languages, but basically we're saying add badass pill true to that particular player. And that means that this variable, this particular variable, baddest pill, is also going to be noticed in the second function, the actual cache update function, and that is because it's tied to the player variable. And if it just had something like this, of course what would happen is that this variable here has its own scope, which means it only exists in this function, and this one has its own scope, which means it only exists in this function, so this variable is not the same as this one, even though they have the same name. And these are just Lua technicalities, but when you actually put them and reference them into the player object, that means that that particular variable will actually stick and be the same even in this case. And in this case, whenever we use our pill, we just set the badass pill variable to true, which indicates that we have indeed used our pill. And then what we do is trigger the cache update by saying add cache flags, and then we say do the damage. And then we just say evaluate items, which actually triggers that to, to happen. Now that we've done that is the actual cache update. And of course here we just check if the pill has been triggered by checking if the player get that uh, badass pill is true, and if it is true, then we just increase our damage by 100. And of course, every time we use our pill, our damage should increase by 100 according to this item logic. So now that we've actually seen this, let's hop into the game. I'm going to show you how to add cards and pills via the debug console, and let's see if they work. Welcome to the game. So you can see that I've given myself the pill and the cards, and if you want to do that yourself, what you would say is give item P47. So the P stands for pill, and then the 47 stands for the ID of the pill. If you're not sure maybe what your pill ID is, what you can do is just say P, and then just start typing numbers, and eventually you're gonna get to your one. In this case, of course, it's pill 47, which indicates that this is the badass pill which we just added into the game. And if you want to add cards to yourself or drop cards, you would say K. In this case, the 52 and the 53 correspond to the new cards we've created. So if I just pick up the pills, obviously the pills have this sprite, which is just a random two colors, and whenever we use it, we give damage to ourselves. And of course, this is exactly what happens, we gain 100 damage, which is something, some of the most overpowered things that you can probably do. Uh, but besides that, we also have two cards, and you can see one of the cards is slow them, and the other one is shrink them. And the slow them had the animation file in the animation editor, uh, which means it has has the appropriate sprite, but the shrink them doesn't have it. But it should still technically work. So let's find a room with enemies. And if we use the shrink them, of course, you can see that the enemies have indeed shrunk. Uh, and of course, when enemies are shrunk, you can just uh, you can just walk over them and kill them. But now we have the slow them, so let me just spawn a few hoppers just to demonstrate the point. And when we use the slow them, not only should they be slowed, but they, their color should also change. So, and of course, when we do that, you can see that they're basically cyan, some so form of cyan now. And as soon as they get this slowed, their color changes back to normal. So, that is it, you know, this is actually how you add cards and pills to the game. You can make some really crazy and wacky th things with it. You can check if you have a certain item and then maybe do a certain effect. You can add a, a whole bunch of other things. And I'll put the, the, the Steam Workshop link in the description to get this template that I actually used, so the code that I actually used. Uh, and you can then make your own additions. And like I said, you can make some really crazy things with it. And I hope that you will experiment just a little bit. 
So this is the end of this video and this video idea was actually from someone at our Discord chat. So if you want to join us, maybe you want have some questions, you just want to talk about things or just modding things, Isaac things, life in general, you can join us, we'll chat, we are all a lovely bunch there and we just help each other out. And this was basically an idea that someone had and I decided to make a video on how to add cards and pills and it couldn't have been better timing because I noticed that there was an update and then what happened is that that update actually also they added some examples in the workshop which are the official and the proper way of doing things and of course if I wanted to showcase something in the videos is how to do things properly so for that reason I just don't want to maybe half-ass things and I just rather explore them and just explain the things I know how to do uh, and Obviously, when you have an official source of doing that, it's much easier. And I hope that also this video made a lot of sense. Uh, in retrospect, I don't know how well I explain things, but obviously if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time.